A popular holiday tradition in Brentwood was scaled back due to the ongoing drought. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres explains why light up Brentwood wasn't all that bright this year. I enjoy the, the decorating and it's kind of become a tradition with our families. It's supposed to be an illuminating experience. I mean, normally if you drive up and down the street, there are hundreds of these on both sides at the curbs um, and it's, it's very pretty actually. Residents in Brentwood line their streets with luminaries or glowing paper bags as part of a holiday tradition since the 80s. And you see your neighbors setting out, uh, putting candles and bags and sand and all that out and, and lighting them and kind of miss that uh, opportunity this year. But this this year's light up Brentwood had a dim start, all thanks to the recent drought conditions. It was such a concern last month that candles and live flames weren't allowed at first. It was discouraged up until this point. It may have discouraged neighbors from participating too. It's, it's dark. I mean, we're one of the few that are lit up tonight. And I think people were so confused with all the neighborhood blogs and so forth. There was confusion. And, and for the most part, it said not to do them until very recently. Although the burn ban has been lifted in Williamson County and the city of Brentwood, it wasn't enough for several subdivisions who chose not to participate. Peter Kenderchuk was allowed to light the luminaries in his community. It's just not the same this year. And you'll see people typically will turn off their headlights and, and cruise through the neighborhood very slowly with their parking lights on, just enjoying the light. So he hopes that next year this event won't lose its shine again. It is unfortunate to, to miss that this year. In Brentwood, Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. Despite the recent rain, Tennessee is still in a drought. Nashville is currently close to eight inches of rain behind for the year.